wake up. Awake, O sleeper. Arise from the dead, and Christ will give you light. By sleep is signified the natural state of man, that deep sleep of the soul. That ignorance wherein every person comes into the world and continues until the voice of God awakens them. By one who sleeps we are to understand a sinner satisfied in their sin, content to remain in that fallen state and to live and die without the image of God. One who is ignorant both of the disease and the only remedy for it. The God having freely, not for the sake of our willing or running, but through the grace of Christ, reconciled us, we run in the strength which he has given us. As soon as ever the grace of God and his pardoning love is manifested to our souls, the grace of God and the power of the Spirit takes place therein. And now we can perform through God what to us was impossible. We can do all things in the light and power of that love through Christ which strengthens us. I rejoice because I see and feel through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit that all my works are shaped by it, and it is the Spirit who works through me. I rejoice in seeing by the light of God which shines in my heart, revealing the ways of God. I rejoice that I flee from sin as from the face of a serpent. That as I have opportunity, I do all possible good in every kind to all people. We cannot survive in this world by any natural strength of understanding. We cannot overcome our fallen state by the force of good sense, good nature, or good breeding. Return, O wanderer, fly away. This is not your home. Think not of building your life here. You are but a stranger, a traveler upon this earth. Make haste. Eternity is at hand. It is your choice to respond to the voice of God in your life and flee from the chaos surrounding you. All you have to say is yes. LaGrange College helped me say yes 